Hey guys, it's Windy from Windy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint wave in watercolor. I'll show you how I preserve the white areas and the techniques I use to complete this painting. Now, if you're ready, grab your pens and paper and let's start painting. After taping my paper, I refer to my reference photo and start my pencil sketch. I draw out the darker shades of the waves and leave the brighter part blank. After that, I apply my masking fluid using my rolling pen over the white area. This way is more efficient for the coloring process later. Feel free to skip this process if you don't like using masking fluid. I'm using a rolling pen here to apply masking fluid because it's much easier to clean. If you don't have a rolling pen, you can use a straw instead. Simply cut the straw head like this so there's a pointed tip. Continue applying masking fluid until you covered all the white area. Once the masking fluid is dry, I start painting the darker areas. I like to mix color in advance so it's ready to use while coloring. I start painting from the left corner. I'm using the wet on wet technique here which means I apply clean water first and I add colors while the paper is still wet. This will create a natural blending color. Cause we apply masking fluid beforehand, so now you can add colors freely. So some areas I apply a base layer first and quickly add other colors while the paper is still wet so the color blends out nicely. I like to hold two brushes in hand here, one for adding the base layer and the other one for the darker shades. This way you don't need to constantly rinse your brush. I'm using some cool tone colors here like indigo and marine blue but you can use any colors you like. Then continue painting the darker shades until you are finished. Next, I remove my masking fluid with a remover, but you can simply rub it off with your fingers. As you can see here, this is a simple, easy way to preserve the white areas. Now you can see the white areas seems a little bit too white, so I add shadows in the bright areas. Notice that this is still in the brighter areas, so you don't want the shadows to be too dark. 
This is quite important step. This is what makes this painting stand out more. For the shadows, I'm using some diluted sky blue and green gray color here. Next, I add the highlights using my white gouache from Winsor & Newton. I'm using my number 0 pen brush here, it's great for details. I also use another brush to strengthen the shadows in some areas. Lastly, I use the white gouache to add the splatter highlights. So the painting is done here. If you have any questions, comment below and let me know. That's all for today's video. I really hope it's helpful and you enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!